you ever felt the feeling of winning a race? Fisher on the inside! Oh my! Two years ago, I was probably in the shape of my life. Oh, Ripping through the middle was Eddie Hunter. I get things right this winter, it's game, it's game over. And Gardner still motoring, still pushing. The egos going around our group at the moment is insane. Everyone's trying to beat each other, it's hilarious. Being in a group where there's so many guys in and around my level during the winter is just great. This winter season's gonna be a bit of an ego check for you, boy. My name's Henry Fisher. I'm a 146 800 meter runner, two time national champion. I think everyone does athletics for the highs and lows. Like me personally, it was Bucks and Doors, our national championships. I won that race by the skin of my teeth. It's Henry Fisher of Birmingham in a four way tussle for the front to take the Bucks 800 title for Birmingham. Well, that was unbelievable. It was the best feeling ever, honestly, just pure, pure enjoyment. Can't, can't beat it. He's judged it perfectly, Henry Fisher. Being an athlete is hard. Like, the average uni life is, is making you want to go clubbing. It's making you want to go out for a drink like, on a Wednesday night. But like, you can't do that. You've got to be strict with your body. You've got to be strict with what you're doing, you've got to be strict with your sleep. It's a very strict sport. Honestly, athletics is probably one of the most mentally demanding sports there is because it's so heavily focused on your actual fitness level, there's no skill involved. You've got to make sure that you're putting the right stuff into your body at the right times. It's all really hard work and surrounding that all around your university life is tough. There's a time and place for that sort of thing, but if you want to be the best, if you want to reach the top, you've got to be careful with when you're doing that. Making the sacrifice is worth it. It's going to take something big. Like, I want that GB vest. I want that 144, 145 type. But like, at the end of the day, it's just making people proud of you. I think like your family, like your mum, your dad, when they say, well done, it makes it all worth it. I came so close to making that European team last year. I'm not missing out this year. cannot overcook it the first couple of weeks back. There are so many big egos at the track, so many runners that are clearly in better shape than you. You've literally just got to take everyone away and run your own session. I'm Ben Gardner and I'm a 400 and 800 meter runner. Me, I'm new coming to Birmingham this year. Um, probably am classed as a bit of a fresher. Um, but to me, I'm not fussed. From my previous background, I've had very little of a, a group atmosphere in comparison to Birmingham anyway. Um, so just being in a group where there's so many guys in and around my level during the winter is just great. So I'm all for getting amongst it and getting stuck in. I think this first like general phase, like kind of pre-Christmas, um, is just about putting the foundations in. The biggest mistake people make is probably getting the load wrong and, and not kind of sl slowly increasing it. End up training too hard, hurting themselves, and um, not getting the right stimulus in the training session. Ben's a different kettle of fish because I've only started helping him, um, but I can see he does have the very keen, <laughs> very keen and very eager. The man's been waiting to be here for three years. That is my job this year, to keep him calm. There is a lot of competitiveness in the sessions. Like our little 800 meter group, we're always making sure we're not getting dropped. 
takes a really mature athlete to see the bigger picture and actually kind of listen to the session outline and listen to the coach and, and look 20 weeks down the line as opposed to that kind of that day here and now and who's got the who's got the biggest ego. All these distance guys aren't going to be able to keep up with us. To assume that you're always going to be at the front of the group, particularly this time of year, it's just not going to happen and that's I guess that's what I said around working out what you need from the session and being content with that and looking bigger picture. Although winter isn't flashy, it's so important. It's building the foundations for a mega year. Six hills, 20 to 30 second hills. We're doing them easy because it's the first group session back. But well, Ben's going to take it out hard and he's going to fuck it all over. So if we're breathing at the end, blame Gardner. Is that one done? Yeah. Very nice. Pushing those recoveries. Yeah, I can tell they're pissed off. Daniel Ford, <laughs> he is horrendous. Thinking, yeah, I'm going to send it down those hills. I'm going to be a prick and I'm going to make it hurt for everyone. So I just sat off that a little bit in the second set. I think Eddie made the right decision as well. What did he sprinting down the hill for? <laughs> ben, on the other hand, thought I'm going to try go with him and was blown by the end. So I think he might have got that one wrong. Looking at someone who's who is good at the sessions, but towards an Eddie Hunter. I hate winter training. It's long, it's cold, it's wet. I'm always at the back. The Hills was a classic example of uh, egos and versus the uh, more sensible athletes. I very much decided very early on that I was going to go particularly easily down the hills. I'm not the strongest aerobically anyway, even amongst the 800 meter group. I'd have been at the back even if I had tried to take it on. But there are a couple in that session that uh, I think got it wrong and I think they'll probably tell you about themselves too. I think my ego probably got a bit mixed up because I hadn't slept very well the night before and thought it would be a good idea to try to push the pace with Dan Maud, who in comparison to me, a bit of an aerobic monster. Um, and finished the session not feeling horrific, but definitely feeling a lot more tired than I should have been, um, considering it was the first one back. So I'm definitely looking to dial that down over winter. I've learned my lesson immediately. I know where I can push myself to and I'm just going to go from there. Get down a bit more central. There we go. The hill session went pretty good to be fair. It's the first one of the season aerobically ticked off. Any words for D Maud? Yeah. I wouldn't apologise for being good on Arrow with Monster. Those need to grow up really, they've been wimps aren't they? Those 800 runners. So obviously being at Birmingham, a new environment, a great environment. Um, just being able to train with the boys and have all these new faces that are you know having similar aspirations to me um, everyone coming into winter just grinding out the cold miles um, it's just great to be a part of a system where everyone's working towards the same goal looking forward to having a strava graph that's completely orange mate high mileage and doing it with the boys my approach to the sessions this year is going to be a bit different from everyone else. I've got surgery booked for next week, so I'm going to be out for a couple of months. I'm going to miss a lot of sessions. It's going to probably really hamper my winter and probably won't get an indoor season. And if I do, it'll be very touch and go. Um, I won't be able to get the miles up like the rest of the boys. 
until probably at least the new year. The most important thing from, from injuries and uh, setbacks like this is you've just got to make a plan. You've got to immediately come back and start setting those little goals like you've got to get yourself in the gym, you've got to listen to physios, you've got to, you've got to use your support because otherwise there's no point in having it and you've just got to put the work in and that's how you get, that's how you get your rewards and that's how you come back from injury. If you don't put the work in in winter you don't get the rewards in summer and summer is what every track athlete is. Bigger picture is still the outdoor seasons. The highlights for me for the year. Um, certainly Harry's performances were in terms of running 146. Three sharp and all flying. Harry Fisher flying too. Charlie Grice. This is hot. 145. Oh, that's gonna be very cool. That's very fast. Harry probably did 146. Done getting um back to racing post surgery and yeah. That surgery just needed to happen three, four years before I even knew him, so I um, to get him back and that was good. Paddy, um, yeah, um, in terms of bouncing back again and again and going and running 148 when probably people from without our community, we knew you were going to do it, but people from without our, um, from outside our circle, um, our small circle, Probably saw it as quite a big jump. I've had worse injuries. I've had injuries later on into the winter season and I've still come back fighting in the summer. And I've got no intentions of letting that stop me this year.